computing yet? <laughs> yes, I just started it. Awesome. There we go, Brooke, Madam Secretary. On the way. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cool. Yeah, it, I think we post them on our YouTube channel. I, I think that at that point, we probably have not yet, because uh, oh. most cases, I think it's just because we recently started with the whole website stuff, so most of our energy has gone towards there. But uh, I'm hoping that we start putting some on there soon. We're hoping to kickstart YouTube in general, just to get a little more energy flowing there too, since, you know, we're all virtual here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I posted the last meeting on YouTube. Oh, oh you did? <gasps> Dang, really? I need to, go, hey, I need to catch up. Hey, <laughs> So you look at it, you see it, the efficiency of this team. It just makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. So I'll give it until 5.05 I mean, to start. Uh, but pretty much, um, I think it's just going to be a general run through and then we got a quick activity. So hopefully you guys brought some something to write with, maybe a pencil and paper or, you know, your pad if you want to, either way. And just uh, something to take a quick photo of it. So we might be doing a little activity. But um, from here, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, would you be able to do present mode, uh, Maddie? Um, yeah, because I think I had it in full screen. There we Can you all still see it? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Cool, cool. So as on all the snow kind of had us uh, push back one of our meetings, uh, it's like our third general body meeting would have been the fourth that we're going to catch up, so no worries on that. There's just some quick updates we're going to do. Um, could you go do a slide? So as you know, we are now online. Um, we have a website for Square, so our memberships are easier. We have a quick information on our, your officers, and then we have a link to the meeting. So if you ever want to click onto the meeting for any case, we have it there too. So all of our link tree services have now been shifted over towards the website so it shall be just one website to be able to go over through and then it also shows any of our featured events so when you go to our home page any event that we'll be running for that case will be on the square site and then we'll get there for in a minute but uh, i'm going to go over some stuff first before we get to the site and i'll show you around can you do the next slide all right and uh, as you all know the memberships uh, just the general information there i think at this point we went over it um, now the membership is way easier to get. Um, most of it is just immediately, and it's going to be through our Square site. So just be sure to, you know, inform your friends that they're interested in joining the team and joining the family in our Discord. Go ahead. You know? Okay, next slide. And as I mentioned, our Discord. So we have a lot of the resources there, networking. We'll be doing a lot of updates there too. And then um, soon enough, we'll probably be doing some game nights and, you know, it's Hopefully you guys can join us there and not miss out. I think that we do have a couple of members who haven't joined our Discord yet. Like they've got the membership, but haven't joined the Discord. So please be do uh, be sure to just you know hop in, introduce yourself. It's kind of fun over there. You know you get resources, but you, there's also people who drop occasional memes. So <laughs> don't even worry about it. There's something for everyone there. All right, yeah. next slide. It's worth it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Brooke, go ahead. All right, so um, I'm the head for the mailer committee, and what we do is we make postcards every month, and on the front, it'll be a design of one of y'all's. Um, if y'all'd like to try out for the, the design for a postcard, go ahead and go to our Discord channel and put in a few of your works, or it can just be um, a link to your Instagram, just so we can see what you're all about. Um, and then we haven't had anybody try out yet, so if you do, you'll most likely get the chance to get your postcard out to all the members. And then on the back, we put um, all the important dates coming up in like a, um, a message for that month. Um, and we also uh, mention your um, art account on that. Um, also, if you haven't signed up to receive any monthly, if you haven't received any postcards, um, I'll post the link to get your address um, in the chat. So, yeah. And then Cody's showing his postcard that he got. So, I'm glad he got that. Um, but, yeah. 
Come join. It'll be fun. Oh, and also the Fresh Prints room is open. So um, if anybody needs to, like, uh, print anything, see Anna's in it right now. Um, we've been trying to get those. We should have some laser printers co come in soon. Um, so that'll be fun. But yeah. Awesome. So you guys are familiar with the mentor, uh, the mentor virtual program, the MVP. So at this point, uh, we're going to move into the March prompt. And if anything, uh, we've been just asking around different prompt levels. And what we'd like is for any of you guys to be able to put in the chat some ideas. And then, you know, just like it could be a word, it could be a phrase, just like any concept. Usually we try to go through um, the month. It'll be due at the end of the month. And then you want to tag it. So we have a lot of the instructions on the Discord. So we pretty much have a prompt for you to design. It could be illustration, topography, photography, like anything as long as it fits that 1080 by 1080 for Instagram posting. And then we have a hashtag for it. So at this point, um, during the any time you want to have it all during this meeting, go ahead and put like any prompts that you'd like to try out for this month. So just to the check of like, a, I don't know, like a happiness or um, some concept and then maybe towards the end of the meeting we could look over and have a quick vote on which one we'd like so just anything that pops in the top of your head go ahead and put it in the chat and then um, we'll have someone collect to it like um and um brooke if you could keep an eye out on any of those and then just write them down and list them so that we can have a quick list at the end okay but yeah so just go ahead and just drop in and officers too i mean you're, you're more welcome to do that too but yeah, so at the end of the, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the semester, we do want to give an award for people who complete some of these prompts and are part of that mentorship program. So I uh, encourage you guys to go ahead and look at uh, the information if you need more data on how the mentorship program works. Um, I have a, I have a, like a document for that. And then on the Discord, there's a cloud to just give you more information on what you got to do in the prompts. So just be sure to DM me or message me and I can get you more information on that just to help you get more involved. Yeah, that's it for the mentorship program. So the event committee, um, I know that we had a sign and symbol workshop that was coming up, but we kind of had that winter fiasco and it kind of pushed back some of the, you know, circumstances. I know that people were coming back in. There's some people trying to settle back into their Wi-Fi. Some people didn't get water until like even past the date of opening back up. So we decided to move it over. Since we have a lot of events happening this March with counter space, we kind of moved um, the workshop to the eighth. So look into that and then we'll be able to give you more information on that as it comes. And um, the next thing is we've been contacting with UNT recently. So um, the president of UNT AIGA would like to have a um, game night with us at some point later. So they also have a discord and they also have like membership similar to ours. So I've just been keeping in touch with her and um, We'll probably see about planning some fun event with UNT, perhaps the verses or something like that. Depends on how you guys like it, but we might have an event for it. So just look forward to that. And then um, if you want to help out or, you know, talk about how to help out on these events and stuff, um, just be sure to DM me. You can also be part of the community and probably get first dibs on knowing what we're going to be doing next. Which brings me to the next big thing. It's counter space. So I think you guys have been getting, uh, you got an email so far in the list server. And then also we've been asking professors to kind of announce it. Or if you have an officer in your class, we probably mentioned it at some point or have been trying to. Uh, we have counter space coming up and it's our annual exhibition that's juried by alumni. So if you can go ahead and click on the link, Maddie. So we have the counter space event is going to be all virtual. So a lot of the FAQ questions are in the website. So how to, you know, how to submit, what is it, who's judging, how do I set up my file? Additionally, um, we do have the jury now that we're going to be posting soon enough. I'm hoping to get them on the website, but it just depends on how they send off their information. But they will be um, judging our work, but they're alumni. So they've taken the courses you have and they're experienced designers. So they would understand the kind of concepts that you're submitting. So any classwork you've done, you don't have to like make something now. So within like March 1st to March 12th, you could submit something that you've already made for a class that can be like packaging, illustration, logos, 
stationary, so any of that stuff. It's a very budget-friendly event, so it's one entry is $5, and then three entries $10, so this is just a good opportunity for you to put yourself out there, have something on your resume, and showcase how you've um, you know, it participated in events like this and your involvement. It also is really nice because if you do enter the and meet the criteria, you actually be exhibited in our virtual website. So virtual exhibition, that is, <laughs> sorry, but that you would be on our website. And that's just a really nice feature for you to have as an experience. So just um, be sure to ask us any questions about it. And I think that, um, let's see. Yeah, Brooke's been sending some of the forms there, but um, just be sure to you know sign up for it. It's a really quick opportunity to get yourself in a contest. Okay. Um, but before I start with the events, does anybody have any questions about Congress Space? Cool. All right. Hang and on. Then if, Hang okay. on. I got one. I yes. was muted. My bad. Um, <laughs> what's the uh, uh, turnaround? Uh, when when do we think we'll know the results of Counter Space? So that'll be towards the end of the month. So we have the submissions from the March first to twelfth, and then during that next following week, we will be having a jury review that work. So from there, we'll be able to get you the results. Um, it just be like a whole week from, I believe the. And on the top of it, it's the 15th to the 22nd, they'll be during and looking over the work. And then sometime during that week, we'll be posting the exhibition that we will have like winners that will be featuring. So we'll have the people who make it in the exhibition, but we will be having awards given depending on the level of your, your evaluation. So I would highly encourage you all to keep updated on that too. So if you submitted something, you are liable to win an award. Cool. Do you have any more questions on it? Cool, cool. Awesome. And so um, Taylor was able to create this calendar for us to just showcase the events that will be happening this March. So we have this counter space at launch the first. We had our meeting. And so we have some speakers. So in the pink, the speakers are actually VCD speakers. So these will be on YouTube. And um, these are more of like the general events that are having in our program. So we highly encourage you all to like look into these people. There are a lot of creatives and designers and uh, I would defend, uh, what was it? Oh, sorry, I was looking at the chat. I thought there was a question. <laughs> but I would highly encourage you guys to get involved and, you know, listen out to these designers and encourage just, you know, participate in the VCD program stuff. So that's why they're color coordinates. So those are the general events. And then we also have AIGA DFW. So this is, national members but also you don't have to be a member it just probably costs a little more to or has a fee if you're not a member but you can still come to these events so we have round tables ux so it's kind of like a a ux um i think it was a workshop if i'm correct but um it's just going to be learning a little more about design with ux and if you're interested in that sort of uh, work and criteria i would highly encourage y'all to uh, participate at the event and then we have a lunch on, which is Educator Symposium. So these are more of the DFW events. So we are affiliated with the professional level. So we kind of just let y'all know about their events as well. So if you're ever interested, you can also look up for the AIGA DFW. So that'll be it for the calendar. All right, so we did mention to bring something to write or something to doodle. So one activity that I'd like to have you guys do is we're gonna spend, I believe, a few minutes to sketch. Do we have the turnaround time for that, Maddie? I forgot what it was. Um, I think it's like 15 or 20 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes? Okay, cool, cool. So take a moment and uh, doodle yourself real quick. I'm gonna probably use a pencil and paper myself. But I, and officers too, actually. So don't <laughs> just because you're an officer doesn't mean you can't get out of that too. Hey, but, um, I encourage y'all to do doodle too. So just uh, yourself, and it could be any format. You don't have to make it serious in a like realistic portrait. Um, and then also, if you're, you know, if you're interested in writing three things about yourself, so just three interesting facts, and then post it in the chat when we're done. Okay. So it is 518. 
So you said 15 minutes about, or, you know, I think we could take 20, right? So that'll be 38. So 538, we should have something then. I'm just like looking at my uh, picture on the web, the web thing. Uh-huh. Because I don't have a mirror or anything. <laughs> no, it's the same. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder, right? Right. <laughs> Just like your phone's background, just like that. <laughs> Where is that image trace button exactly? Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can also do a typography thing. It doesn't have to be a, a illustrative. So if you have words, if you want to say your three things, like three words and just have them in a cool typographic manner, you can do that too. Oh, um. Sorry, I have a quick question. Um, yep. Where where exactly would the the chat be? Because I don't see an option on my screen. Gotcha. Um, Let's see. They should have like a little bubble in the list of uh, your panelists. So screen sharing, the camera, the mic, and the three mm -hmm. dots. So there should be a panel on there with uh, the chat option. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, it's like at the very top. Um, it's like the main bar at the top next to the like the people. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. If you, I think if you joined in like the calendar, it's you might not be able to see the chat. Oh, this mm -hmm. has happened to me before. However, I think you can go to you know how it opens two windows. So you have your your actual chat, right? The mm -hmm. video. And then you have the Teams format. So in the Teams format, you can actually see your, the, I guess the AIGA team, and they should be in your chat section in the general. Um, okay, let me go mm -hmm. see that real quick. Um, I wish I could screen share to show you, but I have a pad right now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can leave the meeting and come back in. Is that okay. possible? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. just because, like, it's not, nothing's popping up. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yeah, go ahead and try that, and then I'll see if I can see it. Was Emmett able to hop back in? Oh, there she is. Are you able to see the chat now? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, I don't know why. Like, there's nothing. Because I looked it up on the the thing, and it's like, it's like mm. not there. It's so weird. 
Maybe here I can. Let me try to um, screen share and show you. Yeah. Yeah, that would, maybe that would help. Okay, so it, it's this, like, it's next to show participants and the hand raise. Yeah, so, I don't, I don't have that. The next like, I have, I have the hand raise and the, the participant thing, but there's nothing in the, the middle. If you go to the, you, w the window yeah. below, um, Maddie, like the one under it, the main hub of uh, Teams, go to chat on activity. Oh, you see, I'm not in the Teams. Okay, that maybe that might be it. Because I don't have that in my uh, Teams. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, sometimes it's weird if you just join from the calendar. Um, yeah. But yeah, just it's going to be in the Teams, like all the... That's why I posted all the links so like everyone can refer back to it in this channel. Gotcha. Is there any way to like invite her um, through our calendar? And if anything, you could always um, DM it to one of our officers and they can screenshot, I mean, send the screenshot onto the chat for you. Okay, hold on. All right, so it's 2.27, so that gives us 11 minutes. Hopefully you guys are heading on good progress. I've actually never had to draw myself before, so this is... New experience. Absolutely. <laughs> I probably do it too much, so I need to... I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Are you on campus, Imani? She is. I see oh, ETA. sorry, I'm muted. I'm at the <laughs> athletic center. Ooh, cool. So I'm in the office, but I'm about to leave at like 5 30. <laughs> Freedom? Yes. Finally. Finally gone. <laughs> But Does this anybody... job actually, I mean, Wait, I was only, I've only been here for like two, what, I don't know, maybe three hours a day. Really? Okay. I bet, yeah, in the next five minutes, it'll be three hours. 
So I'm actually looking for another job because it's just experience. It's not paying anything, but yeah, it's just for good experience. Is it good experience, do you think? I think so because um, she's been, you know, giving me good advice on starting with freelance, which I haven't done. And I'm actually um, going to start volunteering my time to my church that I go to as oh, nice. far as um, helping with my pastor campaign for becoming a bishop, which is like a position that's higher than a pastor in the CME church. And it's like he's campaigning and I'm going to actually offer him my services and see where I can help. And yeah, just volunteer just to really help. He asked, he actually asked me a while back before I took any classes. So I just was like, I, I haven't started yet. But as soon as I get good and ready and I feel confident, I'm going to come back. And here it is. I'm going to come nice. back. And, you know, yeah, doing that nonprofit or organizations and having projects to these, I think those are probably going to help you a lot in the wrong, long run because they're real world projects. Even though yeah. they're like nonprofit and you know, you might not end up making much money on it. That experience mm -hmm. would help you a lot to put on a resume because you have a real project with real statistics behind it. And it's just really good. I, I'd say it's a good opportunity for you. Yes, thank you. It's solid. It's um, I have a good relationship with, you know, my church people so it'll be a good experience just really like coming into that and getting to know them better because I feel when I think about it I feel like I'm always like so locked into my work and class fitness and I'm like I want to do I want to be able to really branch and really get to know people like I don't want to just um you know, just be locked in. And that's why I got out of working at Amazon and I started um, <laughs> doing other things and really just being patient because it'll come like whatever job I, um, I get into, it'll happen. So I'm just being patient. I'm not just like going to jump at the first job that takes me because normally that's a really stressful job. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just being patient with it. It's difficult, but oh my gosh, not I, I actually got on a phone call with um with Pauline, mm. <laughs> and I told her that was she was one of the first people I told. I said I miss you, and I was like, "Huck at Amazon." I told her within the first two weeks, and she was like, "Great." She's like, "You really needed to." She's like, "You were sleeping in my class." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'll like, never forget that, Amani. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Oh my, y'all, I couldn't breathe. Remember I was snoring? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed. I don't sound that, nasally anymore. That was hilarious. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Dang. Oh my goodness. So context for people who don't know, your girl sleeping in class. <laughs> you was there too? <laughs> I wasn't in your walking, class. I think you, you told me. <laughs> hear about it. Oh yeah. Okay. I would just could remember. I thought you walked in one time. Oh, maybe I was awake. But she walked in and was like showing, telling about AIGA. Yeah, she, okay, so Pauline had let me sleep in her classroom too. I mean, in her office one time. Because I was like, I just need sleep. <laughs> I was asleep for 30 minutes and I woke up and I left. <laughs> I remember, I remember so clearly because I got off at work that same morning from working 10 hours, came to school. I had a bag, change of clothes. Cause then I knew I was gonna have to go back into work that same day, and I did. <laughs> I went to pay from work to class to work, and then the next day I was finally gonna be resting. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl! <laughs> nah, it was ridiculous, and I was back to back. I can't stand it. Mm -mm. It was rough, but yeah. I do not encourage you guys to fall asleep in class. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but still, that's it, it. Got rough for you, I heard. Who's 
taken Pauline. Do we have a, a show of hands? Have you all taken off them? Yeah. I haven't. You haven't seen. Never. That's a rarity, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who did you take for layout? Were we in the same class, Pauline? I, maybe. I don't you know. I've had you for at least two classes. Yeah. Um, we took a 3D class together, I think. Yeah, with Heimerman. And then I don't know if we took layout together. Did you have Lauren? Yeah, no. I don't remember that far back, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't give away our age. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How much time do we have left on the clock? Um, four minutes, guys. All right. Sorry, I like completely missed out. What exactly are we doing? Oh, we were supposed to be doodling ourselves. So just to doodle. Quick doodle. Okay. Hey, I'm making a quick scroll. Um, so don't worry. How if can it I is. send it? It's oh. not sending. How do I send it to the uh, just to the chat? You should be able to just. Uh, is the chat option not showing up on you? I don't think I'm in the in the group because when I looked at Teams. Like if I was in the group, it wasn't popping um, up. You know what? That might be what it is. So if you're, um, let's see, did are, did you pay for membership already or? That's what I need to do. I didn't really gotcha. need to do that. I could do that right now. But That's how... probably why. So we usually have the names of the members who are, um, have officially have the payments done within our team. So okay. it might be why you won't be able uh, Emmett, I think that might be what happened to you too yeah. then. And it's twenty five dollars, right? Uh it'll be um, or it's a fifty. I can't remember. So you have the national and then you have the semester. So it's thirty for the I mean not the semester, sorry, this the UTA. So it's thirty for the UTA and then fifty for the um, national level. Is there, is, so it's all through, I'm putting a card in, is it, do I need to go online to UTA, AIGA um, membership? Had you, have you, you've had a membership with us before, right? Yeah, and I gave cash last Did you time. do the national or did you do the um, student, I mean the UTA? I did, I've done both, I think. No, I haven't done national, I've thought about it, but no, I only did the UTA one. Gotcha. Okay. So that would be through our site. So I think that um, Brooks already put our site at some point in the chat. Is that correct? Yeah, the main site. Or oh, that was Maddie. So she had a list of it too. So All right. it's the main yeah. site and we have a membership section in our um, in our cards. So is it UTA dash AIGA or is it AIGA dash UTA? Uh, I could send you the link if you want. Um. Oh, yes, please. It Are you able is... to see the chat? Oh, you um, do not. <laughs> I feel dumb for asking now. <laughs> what would you say? Oh, oh no. <laughs> the chat on team. IGA dash UTA dot square dot site. Okay. Oh, I did see that. But did I didn't it? use it. Okay. UT AIGA dash UTA dot or square square oh yes dot square space okay. dot site oh just square okay yeah square dot site dot site yeah let me know if you find it thank you selby okay did work I see. okay cool and then you can just hit memberships and then i think it's only 15 dollars for a semester yeah i'm gonna so do if you're doing annual do or semester, so if some of you are graduating, you're more than welcome to pick the semester one. Yeah, I'm probably, probably going to do the semester one, so. Yeah. So it looks like it is um, 5.38. I know that some of you guys have had a little trouble beforehand, so I know Emmett, if you wanted to, uh, doodle a little more while we drop them off because we're probably going to go look over some of them go ahead and like take a quick snapshot of your doodle finished or not i know how it pencils down everyone <laughs> hands, up, <laughs> hands where i can see them now <laughs> but um go ahead and take a picture of it and then post it onto the chat
I honestly could not think of a third thing. Like, I feel super boring right now. <laughs> what did you put? I'm going to see and judge you. No, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Look at all the cool stuff. Aww. <laughs> It's so cute. I'm going to admit that I cheated a little bit. I used the old picture of me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm, I'm wrapping things up. I'm trying to get it exported and cropped, right? So I've worked on a big thing and then zoomed way in to do it. Let's see. Right, Maddie is graduating this semester. Um, what else does it say? Um, I put I completed my first freelance project a couple months back. Nice, congrats. <laughs> and then I was like, shoot, what else have I done since I've been unemployed? Just focusing on school. <laughs> congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. <laughs> My bloomer self is trying so hard to put this here. So we're, we're good. 